In the 1990s, the SR-71 was retired, creating a major gap. The U.S. began searching for a faster, more advanced replacement. In 2013, Lockheed Martin unveiled the SR-72 project. Its goal, to build a hypersonic and stealth reconnaissance aircraft. The SR-72 is known as the Son of the Blackbird. It's designed for high-speed recon missions and precision strikes. It's expected to exceed Mach 6, around 7,200 kilometers per hour. Its speed allows it to penetrate deep into enemy territory undetected. Its engine combines a turbojet and a scramjet system. At lower speeds, the turbojet handles the initial flight phase. As speed increases, the scramjet takes over for hypersonic flight. This combo allows smooth transition from takeoff to extreme velocity. The SR-72's body is made from heat-resistant composite materials. At high speeds, surface temperatures can rise dramatically. Engineers use lessons from the SR-71 in this new design. The aim, withstand extreme heat and minimize radar reflection. The SR-72 is designed to fly without a pilot on board. That enables it to carry out high-risk missions more safely. It eliminates human vulnerability in sensitive operations. It can be remotely controlled or powered by advanced AI. Its primary mission is intelligence gathering and precision attack. It flies at high altitudes and hypersonic speeds. It can quickly enter and exit hostile territory undetected. These traits make it a game changer for future combat scenarios. Development is led by Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works Division. This elite team handles classified and futuristic projects. They've partnered with Aerojet Rocketdyne for advanced engines. The goal is to master new frontiers in hypersonic flight. The first test flight is expected in 2025. If successful, it could enter service by the early 2030. It's seen as vital to maintaining U.S. air dominance. Meanwhile, rival nations are pursuing similar capabilities. The cost of developing the 72 Saudi reels is projected to be enormous, but the Pentagon views it as a necessary investment to maintain superiority over countries like China and Russia. Hypersonic tech is considered the future of warfare. Some reports claim that 72 prototypes have already been spotted. Unusual sonic booms have been heard in certain skies. Still, no official confirmation has been given to the public. The project remains highly classified and concealed. SR-72's design draws from past efforts like the HTV-2 program. HTV-2 reached speeds over Mach 20 in test flights. Data from these programs helped shape SR-72's development. The aim, achieve stable flight at hypersonic velocities. The SR-72 could also serve as a platform for hypersonic missiles. This would enable rapid, precision strikes over long distances. The combination of speed and firepower is a serious threat. Such capabilities elevate it to the level of a strategic weapon. Its aerodynamic design is optimized to reduce drag. The shape is crafted for performance at extreme speeds. That improves fuel efficiency and extends its range. It also enhances stealth against enemy radar systems. AI-assisted flight control is planned for the SR-72. It can make rapid decisions in unpredictable situations. It will also calculate optimal flight paths in real time. All this boosts mission effectiveness and survival rates. With the SR-72, air combat will enter a new phase. Speed and stealth will render traditional defenses obsolete. It can conduct recon and attack missions in minutes. Such features give America a major tactical edge. 
the project faces massive technical challenges ahead. Like designing engines that endure extreme heat and stress, the fuselage must resist both pressure and thermal load. Engineers are deeply focused on solving these issues. The SR-72 is under tight oversight by the Pentagon and Air Force. Very few technical details have been publicly shared. This secrecy protects the U.S. edge over global rivals. Still, leaks have surfaced through unofficial channels. In the film Top Gun, Maverick, a concept SR-72 was shown. Its appearance fueled public curiosity about the real project. Lockheed confirmed the version was fictional, but it was based on real design ideas from the SR-72. Experts believe SR-72 might even exceed Mach 6. This depends on breakthroughs in propulsion and materials. If achieved, it would mark a new record in air travel. Research in this area is ongoing and highly competitive. SR-72 may also play a role in future space missions. Its high-altitude flight could enable special payloads. It might launch satellites or assist near-space operations. This opens up potential for non-military applications too. Its development demands new infrastructure on the ground. Air bases and support systems must adapt to new tech. Also, Crews need training tailored to this futuristic jet. All this is being planned alongside aircraft development. America's rivals are racing to develop hypersonic craft too. China and Russia both have ambitious similar programs, but 72 could keep the US ahead in this arena. The global competition for hypersonic dominance is fierce. This project reflects America's push into next-gen warfare. It's not just military, it may drive scientific innovation too. Breakthroughs here could influence multiple industries. SR-72 might reshape aviation, defense, and aerospace fields. With the SR-72, timing and warfare will be redefined. Missions can be completed in record short time frames. This will shift how leaders plan strategic operations. Speed and precision are becoming the new warfare pillars. SR-72 represents a leap in military and technological power. It merges speed, stealth, and advanced AI into one platform. This aircraft could play a decisive role in global conflicts. The SR-72 story is one of pushing boundaries in the skies.